Hey, so I'm going to be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step look on how we made our new and improved DIY guinea cage. It's made out of an 8 foot long, 3.5 feet wide. <laughs> I kind of always mess it up, so yeah. Um, trestle table. And the walls are made out of a bookcase. We tried finding other suitable wood for the walls, but it just wasn't happening. So we decided on this. Here you can see my husband and his dad measuring up the wood from the bookcase to use as the walls. We do use screws, but before screwing it to the table we use liquid nails or no nails. Here we're measuring up the wood for the sides. Here's a quick little overview before I put waterproof down. I'm using $3 tablecloths from Kmart as waterproof. They do such an amazing job. So for the water bottles, I've used eyes out of the hook and eye packs. I don't know if I showed you actually. And I've used a zip tie. This is what the tablecloth looks like. There's a tablecloth on top of the tablecloth, so bear that in mind. And um, yeah, does the job. This part is self-explanatory, but I painted their names on sparkly love hearts. I um, used double-sided tape and pegs to put them on their cage. So this is their cage almost completed. I was too busy doing the loft to video anything else. I'm really, really sorry. Um, but yeah. Okay. We had a strip light on the TV that we didn't use, so we thought we'd put it on the cage. So this is the girl's new cage. It's almost complete. I just need to put some curtains up. The door is made up of three doors off of our old cage. Two of them are mesh and one of them is obviously glass. I have one lock on this side and another lock on the other side and this is the strip light that I told you about. It runs all along the top of the door and it changes colours, well it can change colours but I just usually put um, it on one colour and just leave it as is for a little light for them. So I painted the door and I put stickers on it just to give it a little more of a girly feel. So I have a latch on this side and I'll unlatch it and I'll show you what it looks like. The door goes all the way down so I can reach in and give it a good clean which is really really handy. I wanted them to have a see through door like this because I wanted them to be able to see what's going on and yeah it's just really nice for them to be able to see out. As you can see I have two lofts, one here and one over here and a rainbow in the middle. I do put other hideys in there for them but I like them to have a, a wide open space for them to run around in. And they also love tunneling under blankets. The 
pellets go in the middle in a cat feeder thing. There's a bottle over here and a hay manger. I'm using a book holder as a hay manger and it works perfectly, just saying. And bottle and hay manger over here. They have mirrors here and here. They have wood chews, they have um, little toilet paper rolls and handy towel rolls, which they love. They just keep on chewing on those toilet paper rolls. I'm going to put ribbon around the loft legs because even though they are untreated, I don't want them to chew on them. The wood that I'm using for the loft walls, I can't tack together, so I'm going to have to get some cute duct tape to duct tape it together. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the new cage. They definitely do. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.